for checking out this review of The Untamed Elemental on Deck Obsessed. This is Rhonda and I'll be showing you all 52 cards in the deck and taking a look at the really cool guidebook that comes with it so you can get a feel for whether The Untamed Elemental is for you. And if it is, you'll find a link in the description box to get yourself a copy. I'll also be reading a random card description from the guidebook so stick around to the end because who knows, maybe there's a message you want to hear today. Let's get started. The deck was created by author and artist Tazia Van Rie. The cards and guidebook come in this beautiful, sturdy box. The box opens up from the top like a book and has magnetic closure that holds it pretty tight, holds it closed pretty tight. There is a yellow lifting ribbon to pull the guidebook out. There's a glossy black fitted compartment beneath the guidebook that holds the cards, which are secured in another lightweight box. And the lifting ribbon, ribbon is very helpful in pulling the box out. The cards are a nice weight. They are matte on both sides with a bright color palette on white backgrounds. And the guidebook is also in full color. Now the lifting ribbon is very important to keep in place. If you accidentally put the things back away without putting it in place, it will make it difficult to pull everything back out. So I'm gonna put that back in here. And when you close it back up, you wanna bring the lifting ribbon over to the side so the guidebook is on top of that. Okay, so the Untamed Elemental deck is organized by the five elements, earth, water, air, fire, and ether. Plus there are two wild cards in the deck, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. The cards are vibrantly colored, as you can see. They are all made up of abstractions of animals and other natural elements. Although the guidebook provides thorough explanations for each card, the deck is also a perfect deck for meditative gazing or intuitive gazing at the cards to come to your own conclusions about the meanings through your own intuitive insights. So let's have a look at each card. Here's the back of the cards. And by the way, the cards do not have the meanings on them, but they do have the name of whatever the abstraction is. Like for instance, this first card is element. There's gonna be an animal, whatever natural uh, thing, creature, or element it is, it's gonna have that name on it instead of the meaning. So elephant, mountain, gazelle, Rose, Crystal, Root, Lynx, Peacock, Tree of Life, Wolf, Thunderbolt, Ladybug, Sun, Phoenix, Scorpion, Lion, Praying Mantis, Lava, B, Desert, Butterfly, Breath, Crane, 
Owl. Again, if you're loving this deck, follow the links in the description box to purchase it and to browse other decks with similar design styles. Moth. Eagle. Cloud. Moon. Flying Fish. Ray of Light. Star. Wind. Rainbow. Snake. Sky. Spider. Storm. Scarab. Sage. Pegasus. Sea Star. Manta Ray. Sea Urchin. Waterfall. Octopus. Swan. Seashell. River. Whale. Wave. Divine Feminine. Divine Masculine. So those are the cards. Now let's take a look at the guidebook, which first of all is a little bit oversized compared to most guidebooks. So the whole set is, is pretty deluxe. Whenever you're seeing a pull ribbon, a lifting ribbon, or in a nice color guidebook, it's a deluxe set. And the size makes this guidebook a lot more easier to open up and read. It's, uh, it's not tiny in your hands. So um, the book has no table of contents and the names on each card are alphabetized within each section, each element section, whether it's earth, water, air, fire, or ether, and then the two wild cards. So when you're looking at the book, you're gonna find the name of each card, in the corner, the upper right corner, and then a picture of the card to the left. So you might end up having to scroll, skim, skim through a little bit to find your card. If you don't know what element it's in, it might be a little bit challenging to find your card because they're alphabetized within each element section. So it's not like the whole section of card meanings is alphabetized. The element of earth is gonna be alphabetized. Then it starts all over from the first letter of the alphabet underwater, then starts over again under air, making that clear enough, I'm sure. So again, that might be a little bit challenging, um, but not a deal breaker for me because the deck and the book are so beautiful and there's so much information about each card. So one of the most unique things about this guidebook that I want to talk about is that instead of sample card spreads, which every other guidebook has, the Untamed Elemental offers um, card meditations that you can do to receive intuitive hits and healing, such as there is the Merkaba Sleep um, Meditation. And with that, what you do is you're programming your light body to activate healing. What you do is you start by pulling a card right before you go to bed with the intention of receiving guidance or healing in some area of your life. Then you place whatever card you pull beneath your pillow or on your nightstand and while you sleep, your light body goes to work on the healing you need. So there are four other card meditations that you can try if you decide that you want to get a copy of the deck. So now I'm going to read a sample card interpretation from the book. And again, who knows, maybe there's something in this message you need to hear today. We are going to look at the octopus card. So let me put on my glasses and try to find that card. It's in the water section. Here we are, octopus. 
So when you're looking at a card description, there's gonna be a bold keyword for the card right at the beginning of the description. And that bold keyword is not on the card. This card is like the basic meaning. So octopus is the name of the card and then the basic meaning keyword is regeneration. It summarizes the meaning. Now it's interesting that the word isn't included right on the cards, which some people might not like because then they'll have to rely more on the guidebook for the card meanings until you memorize them or unless you memorize them. But for those of you who are more intuitive, you might prefer it this way because when the meaning is right on the card, it can tend to sway you too much if you're a reader who prefers to use your own intu intuitive interpretations, especially if you're using this deck to supplement a reading with another tarot deck or oracle deck. So you might look into the picture and, and something's brought out for you that's specific to the reading. So it's great for people who are into intuitive gazing or meditative gazing and they find their own readings. But um, but if you're drawn to this deck, I, I recommend it. And also you, you can just go with what does octopus mean to you? If you get the eagle card, what does the eagle, what do the different cards mean to you? So you don't always have to go with the definition in the book. So I'm going to read the description. Um, it says, as a complex master of disguise and charismatic contortionist, Octopus is ever-changing, highly resilient, and totally unlimited. She is an independent queen with three hearts, nine brains, and an incredible talent for regeneration. She is a vessel of everlasting treasures that fuel her total recovery and dispel per perceptions of terminality. As a living representation of the power of regeneration, Octopus bestows the auspicious news that despite profound loss or wounds, life is dexterous. She supports the improbable truth that brokenness is not defeat. We can come back even stronger than before. Within the universe, there is an infinite supply of energy. Money is not spent, it is circulated. Love is never lost, it takes new forms. Opportunities aren't missed, they return in ways that more accurately reflect your truth. Call on Octopus's medicine when you need to be reminded that healing and regeneration are not only possible, they are the nature of life itself. So after the primary definition, which typically is about two paragraphs, you have several other keyword sections. There's the balance and imbalance, which represent the upright and upside down or reversed card meaning. So if you're doing a reading and the card comes out upright, the balance meaning is, or the keywords are flexible, resilient, creative, regenerative. If the card falls upside down in your reading, it means struck down, contracted, brittle. And then this is awesome. There's great advice for bringing back into balance if you're out of balance. It says, float or soak in water, anoint your body with precious oils. Okay, so that is it. That was the octopus card. Let's take a look at it again just for reference. And that is it. That's my review of the Untamed Elemental deck. And remember, if you'd like to add this deck to your collection or use it in your readings, click the link in the description box where I also have links to purchase or watch reviews of decks with similar art and design styles. So check those out. And if you like this review, please share it with friends, leave a comment, hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons, and please do check out my other videos. Thank you so much for watching Deck Obsessed. Have a beautiful day. See you next time.